you tell me when it's 45 minutes, give me a sign later on. 40, oh, yeah, so okay. So I know. <laughs> um, oh, I changed the camera. Oh my god. I have to start this one again. So this one is already working? Mm -hmm. That we are online? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ahoy! <laughs> A dobré odpoledne, good afternoon. You can write me down in the comments where are you from, odkud jste, z Česka nebo z Ameriky nebo z Kanady, z Indie, z Brazílie, and so on. And I'm saying hi to uh, Brno and also to Prague and other cities and to the audience of uh, Prague TV and Cities by Prague. So, ahoy! As usual, we will wait when we have a little bit more viewers so we can start. I will just remind that uh, we are foreigners if you don't know us. We are a relocation company we are providing complex services for expats in the Czech Republic, meaning that we can help you with anything you need for your relocation or when you are already here, we can find you accommodation. We help you with uh, resident permit, residence permits, which are very, uh, very hot deal <laughs> right now because of the state of emergency, because you cannot return to the Czech Republic if you don't have this uh, residence permit. So we can help you with that and basically anything like translations or other paperwork. Uh, we can help trade license holders who are now obliged to or who can, who are legitimate to apply for the 25,000 Czech crowns bonus as a compensation bonus because of this uh, coronavirus pandemic. So we can definitely help you with that as well. And if you need any of our consultations, any uh, any information, we have these emails for uh, the whole uh, Czech Republic you can use info at foreigners.cz for other cities you simply put the name of the city uh, to the email Prague, Brno, Hradec, Olmolc and Plzen. We send uh, every morning at 9 a.m. we send the special coronavirus newsletter directly in your inbox so you can so you are posted about the current situation in the Czech Republic you can sign up at uh, our website foreigners.cz slash newsletter and we are currently offering 20% discount on our services because of the state of emergency. So you can take uh, an advantage of that. So that's so far like this. And I would like to remind you also that we do other live streams. We did, for example, immigration webinars where our CEO Andrea was answering the questions regarding the immigration uh, topics, these residence permits, visas, a prolonga prolongation of your visas, how does it work now because of the borders, uh, because of the closed borders. And these webinars are still on our, on our Facebook as a recorded video. So you can watch them and you can see the, you can hear and see in the comments also the answers. And we are gonna do more of these webinars. And for example, on this upcoming Thursday, we are gonna do a special live stream from Domek, which is an accommodation house here in Brno. Uh, where we have international community living in and uh, our Domek operations coordinator will do a tour for us and a little interview how the life in, in Domek is going. So you can definitely join this stream also on our Facebook page at uh, 5 p.m. on this upcoming Thursday. We have free rooms uh, right now in Domek. A little bit of them still are on the market uh, and there is a special discount uh, or special uh, thing that we offer them without uh, commission. So no commission until the end of April. So you can grab your chance if you are looking for an accommodation in Brno. But I'll at least see our live stream and see how it goes in, in Domek on Thursday. So that's the basic information. How many viewers do we have, Maria? I have my intern, Maria yes, here, my colleague four. here. Uh, we have uh, 49. 49, both? 49, both. Okay, okay. So I think that we can slowly start. No, it's 50. <laughs> okay, 50. Good. Prepare. 
Tell me who of you practiced the pronunciation of number three in Czech. Tři. You can write the comment there. Tři, tři. I told you the last time and also the, the, at the first lesson that you can practice with saying tri, 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 t, uh, r, i, and then eventually if you repeat, if you repeat it enough, uh, quickly enough and uh, for a long time it will become this hřil, which is a typical Czech consonant R with a hook, a special one that foreign people don't like. Uh, so if you are saying three 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 should come eventually. So keep on trying if it didn't come yet. <laughs> it will, don't worry. Okay, so Let's start and we will start again with some uh, revision and we will do this basic dialogue, basic phrases that we did, uh, did the last time or also at the first lesson. So you can repeat with me. It's the dialogue that you use or the words, the phrases that you use when you are introducing yourself and you see someone for the first time, for example. Ahoj, já jsem Lucie. Jsem z České republiky. Jsem PR manažerka. Těší mě. Mě taky. Měj se hezky. Ty taky. Ahoj. Ahoj. I will repeat now and I will also do the direct translation for someone who didn't see this yet or didn't hear this yet. Ahoj, hi, I am Lucy. So instead of Lucy, you will say your own name when you're practicing now at home. Jsem z České republiky means I am from the Czech Republic. So you will say your country. We will practice that in a little bit. Jsem PR manažerka. I am the PR manager. Těší mě. Nice to meet you. Mně taky. Me too. Měj se hezky. Which is in English something like Hey, have a good time, take care, what you are saying before you say goodbye. Ty taky, you too. And then again at the end we can say ahoy or we can say ciao, for example, as another, as another version. So let's do this again and you repeat with me. Use your name, your country, your occupation. Yeah, if you want to use the name of the company, if you don't want to say your uh, position or you can say both. I could say, jsem PR manažerka ve Foreigners. And you, for example, can say, jsem uh, IT specialista v AT&T. Or, jsem manažer v IBM. Simply. This ve or v means at or in. Uh, maybe you are asking why we have two versions of the of the uh, preposition when we use V and when we use VE. It's simply when uh, there is a name of the company or the place and it starts with the same letter or the letter that is very same to pronounce and it's hard to pronounce it together. You put this helpful vowel and you say the foreigners because it's hard to say the foreigners. You hear it probably, but IBM is fine, or the uh, Lufthansa in Lufthansa is fine. So simply when it starts with V or F, you would use this help, and you would put E uh, to this consonant, uh, to this uh, preposition. And it works with other prepositions as well uh, in the Czech language, so you will, you will see it later on as well. Uh, so, těší mě, nice meeting you, me too, mě taky, and we did, we did the rest. So let's try again, repeat with me in Czech. Jo? Ahoj, já jsem Lucie, jsem z České republiky, jsem PR manažerka ve Foreigners, těší mě, mě taky, měj se hezky, ty taky, Ahoj. Ciao. Okay, that's the basic, uh, basic, there are ba these basic phrases. Let's practice them a little bit more and um, this paper now. Again, this, these basic phrases. 
I will show them to you in English and you will say it at home in Czech. So we will practice if you remember them, okay? Tak, super. Ahoj. Nebo ciao. Odkud jsi? Where are you from? Odkud jsi? Mm -hmm. Dobře. A ty? When you are answering the question, how are you? Jak se máš? Dobře. A ty? Mm -hmm. Těší mě. Well done, those of you who knew. Děkuju. O, děkuji. Díky, which is thanks. Promiňte. Mm -hmm. Prosím. Prosím. Mě taky, simply you can say, or you can say těší mě taky. Nice to meet you too, the whole one. Mm -hmm. Díky. Jak se máš? Aha. Rádo se stalo. And maybe your favorite one. Maria's favorite one. <laughs> Nerozumím. Nerozumím. How to say I do understand? Maria, do you know? Yeah, rozumím. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so you just put this and E away and you say rozumím. I do understand. <laughs> Uh, how to say, maybe some of you know, I speak Czech. Mluvím česky. So you can remember and practice this one. Mluvím česky. I speak Czech. Mluvím česky. And again, if you want to say, I don't speak Czech, how do you think that you'd say it? Maria. Ne. Mm? Nemluvím česky. I don't speak Czech. That's a uh, favorite phrase of my boyfriend who is not Czech. <laughs> And he always say like, nemluvím česky. And it's the end to the police or anyone. So it's useful. But sometimes the police speaks English. And then it, it's, a, it's a tricky one. Uh, mluvím česky. I speak Czech. Nemluvím česky. I don't speak Czech. Nerozumím, I don't understand. Rozumím, I do understand. Okay? Super. One more uh, note here. Because there was a question at one of the past live streams. So maybe you wondered. Uh, you have seen this. You have seen Česky. You have seen Čeština. And you have seen Český meaning that this Y at the end has a, has a landmark. So, these words may look very similar, but they are not the very same, as you probably know. So, we use this, Česky, now in this phrase, I speak Czech. How was it, remember? Mluvím Česky, okay? So, mluvím Česky, I speak Czech. Uh, but when you want to say uh, I am learning Czech, for example, you can use Učím se česky. You see the same ending for the first person. Učím se česky. I learn Czech. Or you could also say Učím se 
češtinu. Čeština is like a Czech language. Český jazyk. Can write it here as well. So this is a, a noun. Čeština means Czech language. I learn Czech language. Učím se češtinu. There's a different ending because of the case. It's a fourth case in the, in the Czech language. And here you can see that I used the landmark, how you can see here. So this český is an adjective. Český jazyk. Or you could say český muž, for example. And you know Česká republika. It has an A at the end because it's a, it's a feminine. We will talk about it today as well. Just so you are not um, confused when you see these, it's not the very same. Obviously, if you say, uh, učím se český, the Czech person will understand you and appreciate that you are trying. But uh, this is the correct way how to use it. Mluvím česky, učím se česky. Učím se češtinu, český muž, nebo český jazyk. This is adjective. This is a noun and this is an adverb, how, basically. So, this can be useful for you as well. Jo? Tak, since we practice this jsem z České republiky, the question, where are you from, odkud jsi, we will now practice the name of the countries. We picked some of the the flags, some of the countries. Please don't be offended if your country is not here. We had limited, limited options. We can uh, cover all the, all the world, but we can practice at least with these samples and maybe there are people right from these countries uh, watching this live stream. If you are there, say hi to us. <laughs> uh, so we will practice it. We will practice the name of the, of the country and we will say, I am from Isem Z, and we will say the name of the country. Ano? Tak, startujeme. Já jsem z Francie. Odkud jsi? Já jsem... Maria? I don't remember <laughs> You are from this country. <laughs> z Řecka. Jsem z Řecka. Řecko is uh, the first case, but we use genitive, the second case in this phrase. So, já jsem z Řecka. Odkud jsi? Já jsem z Japonska. Odkud jsi? Jsem z Německa. Odkud jsi? Jsem z Rakouska. Odkud jsi? Jsem ze Španělska. I'll just mention here again, like we were talking about the preposition v or ve. Here we used it as well. I say, jsem z Rakouska. But then I say, jsem ze Španělska. Again, we have the preposition z and z e. This is kind of the basic one, the standard one. But then, if we have a word that starts with s or z, which is very similar to pronouns, like the preposition z, we have uh, that we help us again with this e. So we say, ze Španělska. Ze Sýrie, you could say, for example, ze Zimbabwe, or anything that starts with z, z, or s, or z, meaning z with hook, or sh, again, s with hook. Okay? So, sem ze Španělska. Odkud jsi? Jsem z Polska. Odkud jsi? 
sem z Portugalska. Again, odkud si? Sem z Rakouska. Odkud si? Sem z Itálie. Odkud si? Sem z Ukrajiny. Odkud si? Sem z Ruska. Odkud si? Sem z Brazílie. Odkud si? Sem z Ameriky. Simpler version. If you want, you can use sem ze Spojených států amerických. Česká je na longer. A you can say sem z USA. If you want to have it shorter. I will just write it down. Sem Z again because it starts with S. Spojených států amerických. Or simply sem z u s a. Okay. Uh, maybe just briefly, so you would know how this works and you could apply to your country if this country doesn't, didn't uh, appear now at the list. It works the way that if your country ends with e, uh, i e, like India or Syria or Francia, Brazilia, whatever like that, this stays the same. You don't change it. Same as India, same as Syria, same as Francia. If it ends with A, Canada, America, Aliashka, there is anyone from it goes to, it changes to Y. So you say, sem z Kanady, sem z Ameriky, sem z Aljašky, sem z Ukrajiny. Jo? And the most common one are the countries that ends with O, O, this is Sko, usually. Rakousko, Rusko, uh, Španielsko, and then you change it to A. Sem z Rakouska, sem z Ruska, sem ze Španielska, sem z Řecka, sem z Polska, sem z Portugalska, anything like that. So these are like the basic endings which you can apply to the name of the countries that you are from. Jo? Tak, super. And we will repeat one more thing before the mo we move to something new. We did it the last time as well. Who remembers? Verb to be, beat in Czech. So reply, uh, repeat with me. Ja jsem I am, ty jsi, you are, on je, he is, ona je, she is, to je, that is or it is. Plural, my jsme, we are, vy jste, you are, oni jsou, they are, or to jsou that that are there there are for example you know once again just in check ja jsem ty jsi on je ona je to je my jsme vy jste oni jsou to jsou no i will do the magic it's not visible right now kind of some of them or shall I move? <laughs> Wherever. <laughs> okay, let's try it without looking behind me. 
if you remember, okay? So let's do singular and plural. Ja jsem, ty jsi, on je, ona je, to je, a plural, my jsme, vy jste, oni jsou, they are. So congratulations to those of you who made it. <laughs> What about the negative? Remember it? Very simple. Just put an E in front of them uh, besides this, this one special case. So let's go again. Já nejsem, ty nejsi, on není, ona není, to není. It is not. Special one, není. Plural, my nejsme, vy nejste, oni nejsou. Ok, ještě jednou, once again. Já nejsem, ty nejsi, on není, ona není, to není. Plural, my nejsme, vy Nejste, oni nejsou. Tak, magic again. And let's try once again without looking uh, over there. I hope it's visible now. It's bigger here, so it's fine. So let's do it. Já nejsem, ty nejsi, on není, ona není, to Není. My nejsme, vy nejste, oni nejsou. Super. Dobře, good, if you made it, gratuluju. Good job. <laughs> so we practice verb to be and we will practice it now uh, in, the, in the sentences. Again, I have some of the uh, subjects here or the things that we can use like some food and other stuff so I will ask you uh, if it is something or if it's not something and we will use the uh, this verb to be so let's start with this co to je what is it to je cibule okay je to cibule? Is it onion? Ne, to není cibule, to je česnek. Mm -hmm. Co to je? To je káva. Mm -hmm. Je to káva? Ne, to není káva, to je čaj. Uh -huh. Should be a new one. Co to je? To je voda. Water. To je voda. Down for you. Down for here. Use for verb. Voda. Je to voda? Ne, to není voda, to je pero, or propiska, we can say. Je to cibule? Ne, to není cibule, to je čokoláda, čokoláda. Also a useful one. Okay, for example here. Chocolada. Je to chocolada? Ne, to není chocolada, to je sír. Sír, that's what we say when we want to smile at the picture. 
Super! And we will practice with these people that we practiced the last time, some celebrities you may know. So we are not asking now, co to je? But we are asking, kdo to je? And we will use the same structure like we used the last time. Kdo to je? To je. For example, Anna. Anna je z Ameriky or another country. Ona je manažerka. So you will practice with these people that you hopefully know. Tak. Kdo to je? To je J.K. Rowling. Odkud je? Ona je z Anglie. Ona je spisovatelka. Right. Mm -hmm. A kdo to je? To je Arnold Schwarzenegger. Odkud je? On je z Rakouska. A co dělá? On je herec. Actor. Herec. Kdo to je? To je Cristiano Ronaldo. Odkud je? On je z Portugalska. A co dělá? What does he do? On je fotbalista. Kdo to je? To je Tom Hanks. Odkud je? On je z Ameriky. Co dělá? On je herec. Mm -hmm. Kdo to je? To je královna Alžběta II. Odkud je? Ona je z Anglie. Co dělá? Ona je královna, the queen, nebo ona je politička. Politician. Mm -hmm. Kdo to je? To je Jim Carrey. Odkud je? On je z Kanady. Co dělá? On je herec. Mm -hmm. Kdo to je? To je Jaromír Jágr. Odkud je? On je z České republiky. A co dělá? On je hokejista. Je to fotbalista, co nám je hokejista. Kdo to je? To je Nicole Kidman. Odkud je? Ona je z Austrálie. Co dělá? Ona je herečka. Super. Kdo to je? To je Vladimír Putin. Odkud je? On je z Ruska. A co dělá? On je prezident. Nebo on je politik. Jo? A poslední, last one. Kdo to je? To je Angela Merkel. Odkud je? Ona je z Německa. A co dělá? Ona je politička. Jo? Super. So, we practiced. On je, ona je, he is not, on není, to není, it is not. So now this should be uh, kind of clear. Hopefully uh, it is to you. If you have any question, write it down in the comment. Maria can read it to me right now and I can answer if anything is unclear. Okay? Super. Děkuju. And now, how much time left do we, ha do we have, Maria? Um, 
Ten minutes. Ten yeah. minutes. Ah, that's not that much. It always flies away the time. So today we will practice or we will learn. A little bit more about uh, the nouns and how to how to use them uh, with a with a verb, and we will talk about uh, the feminines and uh, masculines and uh, neutrals in the in the Czech language. So uh, we have words in the Czech, in the Czech language that ends differently, as you already could see. So, for example. Who remembers how to say uh, this? Co to je? To je čaj. And čaj, uh, is it masculine or feminine or neutral? It is masculine. So if you want to say this tea, the pronoun would be ten chai, ten. Ten we use for masculines. So if you remember that we talk about a Czech guy, a Czech man, we called that uh, called him Český muž. So we would say ten Český muž. Okay, ten. Then we will have another two. Ta is for feminine, to is for neutrals. Why do we need to divide uh, if something is masculine, feminine or neutrals? It is needed for uh, using the adjectives, for example, pro properly. As we talked already about Český muž, Czech man, but you know how to say the Czech Republic. Česká republika. We use a different vowel at the end. A different ending of the adjective because of this because republica is feminine it's not masculine so that's why we need to practice which uh, which one is it so we can use it uh, with other with adjectives and another pronouns and it's, it's very very useful in the Czech language yeah so we have for example chai and co to je? To je sír, cheese. So that's another word which is masculine. Sír, ten sír, we would say. Okay. Co to je? To je voda, water, if you remember. To je voda. And voda is Feminine. So we would say ta voda, this water. Ta žena, that woman, for example. Jo? Okay. Yeah, okay, I will finish this one. Čokoláda, if you remember, to je čokoláda. And again, čokoláda is a feminine. I will get to your question, just let me finish this so we get the point. Čokoláda. And I don't have anything, well, co to je? To je cibule. And cibule is also a feminine. Ta cibule. Okay. But, co to je? To je česnek. And chestnut is masculine. Okay, I don't have any neuter here, <laughs> any, anything like to to show you. But I can use the word for a car, car, which could be pretty useful. Jak se řekne český car? How to say in Czech car? Does anybody know? Auto. Easy. Auto. And auto is neutral. Okay. As you can see, it's not that simply how it looks like, how somehow maybe. Uh, if you look at ten, it ends with consonant. 
and as you can see, chai, sir, chestnut, also consonants, right? So the rule, which is valid up to like 90%, is that if something is masculine, it ends with a consonant. So if you see the consonant, it could be masculine. It's very, very typical, okay? Ta ends with A. Voda, čokoláda, ta voda, ta čokoláda. These are feminines, okay? So typical ending for the feminine ones are A. A, voda or čokoláda. And for the neutrals, to, auto. So O is a typical one for the neutrals. Miesto, town. For example, again, okay. Uh, but of course, it's not that easy how it could be, and there are other uh, vowels and consonants. So sometimes, even though it ends with uh, with a or it ends with consonants, it's not masculine or feminine, and it's simply you have to practice this to remember. For example, as you can see, the cibula onion, it's here, ta cibula. So E is like another example of kind of a typical one for the feminine. We practiced India, Syria. It would be feminine because of the due to, if you want to use it uh, for declination in the Czech language. Ta India, ta Syria, ta America, ta Canada, ta Aljaška. But to Rakousko, to Rusko, to Španělsko. And then would be Pakistan, Uzbekistan, all these countries that are uh, that have the consonant at the end. Okay. Uh, we have another words like chai. We have, for example, stroj, a machine, also masculine. But then we have also some words here, uh, for example, píseň, which is ending with a soft consonant. And it's a feminine, ta piseň, you would say. And uh, here, uh, to, auto, there can be another words like moře, and then it's e, and it's neutral. So as you can see, it's not that easy. And I would have to give you even more examples. But the basic ones that can help you and that somehow usually work is that ten, is for consonants and it's masculine. Ta voda, ta čokoláda, feminine. To auto, it's neutral. Okay, the question. Yeah, uh, a lady wants to know why we use to for neutrals, and then on the question we use to, yeah, Nicole Kid Kidman, for example. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because. It's, I will relate to English because we use the word that in English. Uh, that also doesn't say if that person is he or she. We say uh, that is my friend. And you don't know if this friend is feminine or masculine, if it's a man or if it's a woman. So it's something that we want to say um, more like the pronoun here is the person. We are, we are pointing to that person. So we are saying like, to je Maria. This is or that is. This is if she's here or that is if she's far away. To je Anna. A to, this is, here, sitting, I can see her, it's Maria. So it's more like the, you are pointing that person is right here. You are pointing to this person and you use this verb, this pronoun, pronounce to, like in English, that or this, this is my friend. You are not saying the uh, if it's a feminine or if it's a male or if it's a female. So that's the, that's the, that's the answer. Okay, was there another part yeah. of the question? Uh, no, uh, the, okay. the other one is, is Pero neutral? Yeah, super, <laughs> good job. <laughs> Thank you. Pero, another great example. To je pero. Yeah, because based on this, I don't want to tell you too much. We would do it uh, in the next class probably. Here you use the 
E for adjectives. Here you use a uh, in main in uh, many adjectives, not all of them, but one type. And here you use a, like you would say, český jazyk, česká republika, české město, Czech town, for example. So it is all relative, and that's why it's kind of crucial to know, even though it's not that easy. So that's about the pronouns. What's the time? Kolik je hodin? It's done. Go, wait, 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 not yet. I uh, know, I mean it's uh, 47. Okay, okay, all right. So we are about the, to get to the end again, it flies. So we will just practice uh, a little bit of these words and you will tell me if it's ten, ta, to, okay? Ten, chai. Ta voda. Co to je? Uh -huh. First, you have to know what it is. <laughs> you can say if it's ten tato. Uh, ta kava. Ten česnek. To pero. Ten sír, ta čokoláda, ta cibule. Jo, yeah. so you can try it at home, you can point to the things that you have at your home and you can practice if it's ten ta to. If you need to check it out, you can write it down and at the next class you can ask and we will, uh, we will have a look if you did well or you didn't or you can send us a message, don't worry. Uh, so that's it from today's class. Děkuju. Děkuju. It was a pleasure again. Uh, I will just remind you that we have another stream, live stream on Thursday. It's from Domek, the accommodation house here in Brno. We start on this upcoming Thursday at 5 p.m. Domek has now some free uh, available rooms and they are uh, offered without commission. And it's a beautiful, internet, uh, it's a beautiful interesting building uh, built in the style of uh, the European, let's say, uh, accommodation houses for uh, college students so it's like a different new concept so it's a verse to see so I would like to see you there on Thursday and if not we are gonna have the last class the last free check class next Monday again so I will see you here in one week meanwhile practice jo tak mějte se hezky děkuju a ahoj